Vipin has a question. A seeker has intention to know, whereas a tantric has the intention to control, manipulate things in Maya. It seems tantric is an upgraded seeker with more advanced features of manipulating after knowing. It seems tantric path is well connected to path of knowledge. Yes, that is what I say that uh, the occult is a branch of path of knowledge. And uh, it is not good to say that it is uh, a kind of uh, ignorance because you need knowledge to manipulate things. And probably you need more knowledge than an average seeker on the path of knowledge because these people, they don't know anything about the illusion. They don't know anything about the experience or they know it. But mostly it's like broad concepts only. The details, how things really work in the field that is not known to a seeker on the path of knowledge. So application of knowledge is called technology and this is what I call the technology of the mind. There is nothing else here. There is this universal memory and it works in a specific way. You need to understand it and then only you can uh, control it or you can use it. A good word is use, not manipulation, not control because we cannot control it. And the manipulation is a um, very tiny amount. It is like use of some knowledge. That's all it is, occult. When the knowledge is used, it is called technology. This is the technology of the mind. So before you use something, you must know, you must have the knowledge like I was saying about the treatment of diseases. If you try to do it without knowing, can be a disaster. Who knows what will happen. So proper training, proper uh, knowledge, proper guru and many years are needed to do something very small also. What happens is people start in reverse. They start from the occult and uh, I don't know how it is poss even possible. No guru no path and no knowledge, no experience and no spiritual progress and they hope for the greatest. So usually they fail or they delude themselves or they get into a trap of entities or something because you see that is the dependent tantra and that which I don't recommend. So some people have become you know, occult practitioners uh, and all they know is to summon a demon and the demon does whatever we don't know what happens as a consequence. Probably you all know what happens. These entities are not reliable at all. So that, that is not occult. That is stupidity. What I say on the path of knowledge is that you use the knowledge. There is nothing which is stopping you. Your right and wrong is decided by you. So you, you do it if you want to. But do it properly then. Get all the knowledge, technical knowledge. Start with small experiments and make your goal knowledge. When you are using your occult for something, the goal should be nothing but knowledge. You are not going to gain anything from occult. This is the first rule that uh, there are no gains. There is action and there is consequence. Whatever you are, are whole and complete. What do you want? So it is simply curiosity to know how this illusion operates. That is the point of view of the seeker on the path of knowledge. And so it is now safe because you don't want anything. You don't want to destroy anything or manipulate anything or change anything. That ensures that uh, you get a safety pass. I mean like nothing can trouble you now. And you can experiment with the illusion and know it. That's all we can do. Once this is the goal, once the teacher knows your good in intentions, then you are allowed to experiment. Otherwise, there are some defense mechanisms in the illusion that uh, simply uh, chase away the seeker. <laughs> if you want to do something without preparation, uh, there are scary things waiting for you there. They are just protection mechanisms so that uh, these people, they don't get into these they don't get a free way into the occult. So it fails mostly. 99% it will fail. 1% it works. That is because you have some past life uh, impressions on you. You are doing it since many lifetimes. 
so it can work sometimes one in a thousand case but if you continue without any guidance without any goal just for fun then uh, you will be scared away from doing it something bad will happen or you will really feel bad about it or your life will be little bit disturbed by it but if you do it for uh, a good reason like knowledge you are on the path of knowledge you want to know how the illusion works you want to know all the layers that are above your head now you will be given a pass actually you will be supported you ask the guru field for support they will bring the experience to you it is so much i have seen this happens you will be protected even though you don't know protect protection rituals or anything you see you don't have a circle around you and you are doing something you will be protected because you ask the guru field or just ask your guru you see just the name of the guru is enough but that is only when you are a sincere seeker you see your intention matters okay okay now from today i am on the path of knowledge and i saw the name of the program somewhere now please teach me the rituals now i, I need to do the occult so these people they get the lessons there a different kind of lesson so pretending lying manipulating the guru it does not work or becoming your own guru i know everything now because i read a book it does not work so nobody becomes a scientist by reading a book and uh, nobody becomes a tantric by reading a book some old book from somewhere impossible it takes a guru it takes pure intention purity in the body and mind and it takes many years of practice probably many lifetimes so it looks like i'm discouraging yes actually i'm discouraging people from doing this the proper way is to gain knowledge all the knowledge is here all the occult is happening every day in our lives on the path of knowledge we need to simply open our eyes and see it we are already using the occult you don't know it that is the problem with ignorance we are already highly capable you are already extending into many many layers many many worlds you are already there you don't know anything because this poison of the physical world has corrupted your intellect it is like a trap that is why we ask you to come out of this trap that's all on in our program also i have inserted some of the occult things just to because without technology you cannot even do science without technology you cannot even teach the basic principles purification is a technology only if you are impure well it is used and then the knowledge is delivered so this occult thing is used on all the paths they don't tell they don't say it they don't want to scare the scare people away because it has a very bad reputation thanks to these idiots who practice it for whatever lowly purposes they do it so uh, the technology has become corrupted and it has been misused so we don't call it occult we call it uh, techniques or tricks i usually say use this trick it is something which is occult you see so we are already doing it and uh, if you come in the technology from the proper path of knowledge then it brings fruit then it is good if you take shortcuts then it is a disaster always ruchika is asking so the rituals that we do like offering to the deity and aarti etc in the daily routine is in fact tantra yes any kind of worship comes under tantra which is dependent tantra par tantra tantra is dependent occult what is the problem in the dependent occult you are a slave of the deity forever you are you do the offering to a deity and you ask something in return you know you are not doing this for fun you are asking something in return and if it is not something spiritual like knowledge or uh, removal of your uh, whatever uh, hurdles are there on your path you see if it is not about these things then uh, it is mostly materialistic Have you seen anybody asking knowledge from a deity? Never. I've never seen. There's always something material. 
our it is about desire fulfillment the whole occult is about desire fulfillment and usually nobody has this desire to liberate themselves or take um, or gain knowledge or anything and why will you go to the deity <laughs> to gain knowledge the deity knows nothing guru knows everything and guru does it without taking the offerings so they go to these uh, temples and uh, idols and statues and uh, photos uh, calendars you see the worship all these things it is a corrupted form of occult somebody told them like look this is the deity with four hands five legs and this deity will fulfill your uh, desires whatever desires you know you want 20 cars or 50 houses or 100 partners deity is going to give you and <laughs> good health and prosperity and whatever and they do it blindly superstitious everybody is like this i've never seen a single person who knows the the, the meaning of that deity or who knows what they are doing what are they offering why are they moving the fire in front of the deity they don't know anything superstition obviously nothing happens i have never seen any wishes that got fulfilled by worship not a single one yes the proper occult fulfills all the wishes if you do it properly you will get everything but not the deity he'll <laughs> not like this and that is i i don't know some people call it religion no it is total stupidity religion is a different thing it is a weapon of mass manipulation that is a different thing this deity worship purely comes under occult and people don't know how to do it is superstition those who really worship some kind of entity you see they never tell it they never make it public they never reveal the methods you will never come to know they look like ordinary people they don't show up in the society they are the real tantrics it is not even discussed beyond their own look their own world they are they are operating in the world of the deity desires are granted there in the world of the deity not in the physical world that is why usually the independent kind of occultist is seen as sitting with the eyes closed that's all or lying down with the eyes closed because the deity also knows that interfering in the physical world is uh, prohibited is illegal you can say this this world is under protection cannot do it you know we, you can do it in margins but no deity is allowed to interfere here so they are taken to their world and their their desires are granted you know whatever there is and when they come back they get nothing nothing is left except probably a satisfaction so what do i say do not worship the deities become a deity you can become that probably you are already that you don't know you have fallen into the human world and then get your desires fulfilled in your own world you know who is stopping you what do you want drishta is asking for seekers on the path of tantra how does it result into self realization beside using controlling maya do they do some other studies like we do as i said you see the, there are two kinds of tantras one is stupidity you know and the other is technology to know something to manipulate something you must know you must have a very high amount of knowledge much higher than an ordinary seeker on the path of knowledge and then you must have a lot of experience and you must have very qualified teacher and then the pure intentions purity is a must so i assume that the that fellow is already self realized because what is self realization is one hour job it takes only one hour for the guru to sit down and explain that you are not the other stuff you are the stuff which is not the stuff that's all self realization is just two lines neti neti it is the beginning it is not the end self realization is the beginning of any path when i say these are your means of knowledge and this is the criteria for truth any intelligent person will become self realized there and then only uh, only thing he needs to do is ask the right question who am i so at most one hour but uh, the the uh, the knowledge of the illusion can take many lifetimes to master because it is a matter of practice practical thing 
self realization is given you need to open your eyes and see okay this is already like this i am the experiencer nothing can be done about it i cannot become anything else i am the brahman it is done you are already free you are already perfect you are already everything you are now there is nothing to do you see the path of knowledge starts and then ends actually it ends as soon as it starts so the one who is go trying to go beyond the path of knowledge which is in application of the knowledge should start here few minutes like i said the other kind of tantra is purely stupidity and there they don't have any knowledge there they know only how to summon the demons so if you are in the proper path you will start with knowledge it does not lead to knowledge it begins with knowledge